מי, מי רוצה? שיתביישו לכם! זה הגיון לכם! אתם מפלגים! I'm outside one of the main government centers in Tel Aviv, where people have gathered to protest against the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. We've been talking with people here. Some of them have family members that were killed. Some of them have family members that are still held hostage inside of Gaza. הם נחטפו ואלוהים יעזור לנו מה שאומרים. וביבי לא מדבר על זה מילה! אנחנו חייבים את עזרת העולם להציל אותנו. You can feel all of the trauma and the anger that this country is feeling. It's been packed into this area where people are coming out to demonstrate them. Israel is facing the most challenging times in the last 40, 50 years. And at the moment we have no leader and we have a dysfunctional government. My sister is from Nachal Oz, which is a kibbutz that was suffered in, in, in infiltration. She was 18 hours in the shelter, the safe room, and she heard the terrorists go into uh, the neighbors and she participated in the neighbors' funeral. Um, they don't know where the future is. and the government doesn't do anything. We have a prime minister that is occupied only on his survival. I'm so sorry to say, but it feels like the Israeli government cares to their citizens the same level of the Hamas cares of the Gaza citizenship. Many people are coming here to argue against the protesters. Netanyahu still has a massive support base around Israel. Just up the street, a small group of counter-protesters have come out to demonstrate as well. Now, in this time, that half a million soldiers are in Bachazit, and are waiting to do a war and to do a war, ועכשיו להגיד להחליף את ראש ממשלה זה לא נותן כוח, זה מחליש, זה מכניס למחלוקת, זה מכניס לפוליטיקה. עכשיו צריך להיות together, ביחד, חזקים, שמאל, ימין. The mood here is really mixed. There is so much anger and frustration and people screaming in hopes of reaching the government officials in these buildings. But there's also a sense of community coming together to ease their collective grief. It's like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're angry, sometimes you're saddened, sometimes you're so moved from the stories that you hear, from the people, actually the Israeli people coming in from all sectors, from Orthodox Jews, secular, Arabs, Druze, everybody comes together, donate blood, donate clothes, donate whatever they can. This is moving. 